What makes Sweetbriar's conference distinctive is the fact that it asks you to invest in a long weekend outside of your day-to-day -day life, simply to focus on your identity as a writer. It's taking a break from being a student, taking a break from being in the context of your life where you live, and inviting you to come spend time with others being a writer, doing what writers do, which is talking shop. Our idea for the conference is that there should be alternating periods of stimulation and reflection. In other words, that there should be a balance of structured and unstructured time. We do think of this as being a weekend for writing, not simply a weekend for attending classes and not simply a weekend for resting, but a weekend to immerse in the craft. My favorite aspects of the conference are the moments when I can see people making connections, not only with their own work, but with other people and understanding that what they do is relevant and that there's a future before them as writers. The campus at Sweetbriar is breathtaking. It's just amazing to be able to have such a great writing experience in such a beautiful place. Students who come to Sweetbriar for the conference, whether they come from Lynchburg, which is 15 miles away, or from the West Coast, arrive on campus and are immediately put into a workshop course for which they've registered in advance and submitted a manuscript. The idea is that we get everyone in the mix immediately, meeting one another, working alongside one another, and focusing on the work that they came here to focus on. It was very different than a workshop in a regular semester-long workshop kind of setting because uh, we were looking at tendencies of the poet more like holistically than we get a chance to instead of just nitpicking at like specific lines. Um, and what was really great too is that we're all from different schools, uh, we've had different professors, we've been reading different poets, uh, so people brought very different perspectives to the table, which is really interesting. We do believe that people learn best when they're slightly out of their comfort zone, when they're just slightly off balance, because that kind of um, uncertainty is very productive for the creative process. It teaches you that it can be safe to be unsure of yourself. Thinking about and working outside of your own genre is exactly the kind of thing that the conference asks you to do and the opportunity that it offers you. But I think also that there's a different kind of learning that one does in the immersion environment. And the dividends that we see that in that for students down the road would be the kinds of graduate programs they attend the kinds of editorial internships that they take on, the kind of writing that they do and the kind of publications that they send out on their own after we're done helping them along the way as much as we can.